Hey everybody, this is Brendan from Portarius Music, and I'm just bringing you a quick tip tutorial today. Nothing too fancy, but I, I thought it was worth sharing. So, here we go. Um, the tutorial today has to do with x for Records Serum synth, which is just... It's the coolest synth I think I've ever used in my life. It's super easy to use, and it's just... It's just awesome. I mean, I, I love it. And um, I just picked it up a couple weeks ago. Splice.com has a rent-to-own plan where you pay, you sign up to pay $10 a month for only 18 months. And uh, at the end of the 18-month period, you stop paying, and but you get the synth right away. So as soon as you sign up and start paying, you get the synth right away. And I think you even get a few days using it for free before your payments kick in. So that's pretty cool. So well done Splice for this rent to own plan and well done Steve Duda, the creator of Serum for getting together with Splice and doing that. That was huge. I think that was an excellent move. And it just, it, like I said, this synth is just incredible and I love it. I, as soon as I started using it, I just, I felt like it was the coolest synth known to man. So anyway, that's how much I love it. Um, and now we're just going to dive into just a cool little feature that I found. Um, this feature has to do with using pictures as your wavetable source. And I don't, I don't mean like w pictures of wavetables. I mean like actual pictures of stuff that you can like take with your phone or whatever. Um, the catch is that it only takes PNG files. So I'm going to show you how to just create a PNG file really quick. It's super easy. Um, but anyway, little story, um, I'm working with this band called Love Collide. It's made up of two sisters, Lauren and Brooke, who are good friends of mine, and they asked me to do some production for them. So I happily agreed, and I thought maybe this would be a good uh, opportunity for me to include some original sound design uh, on the songs that I'm producing for them. So I wanted to think about some ways that I could create new sounds but in a really really original way um and just you know put my own spin on everything so i thought it would be hilarious to use a picture of the band as my wavetable source for one of the sounds and the sound isn't special at all it sounds like this pretty standard nothing fancy like i said yeah, so that's it. That's the sound. It's pretty standard square wave pluck-ish sound. Um, but I used a picture of the band as my source for Oscillator A. So it just kind of added, you know, a little bit of creativity to it. So that's cool. Anyway, here's how I did it. I went to the internet and typed in Love Collide, which is the name of the band. And I used this very first picture of Lauren and Brooke. And I just, I dragged it to my desktop like so... Then I closed out of my internet browser, and uh, it just puts it right on your desktop. And you can see I've done this a few times, the same file type here. But I'm just going to press enter on my keyboard and type love collide 7. And then I'm going to space over to the, uh, the extension, and I'm going to change the extension from JPG to PNG. So we're changing it from a JPEG to a PNG. Um, and I don't really know what that's going to do for the actual picture file type itself, but we're not doing photo editing for this. We're just using it for serum. So it's really not a big deal. So once we've done that, we're going to press enter again, and it's going to ask you if you want to keep, uh, JPG or use PNG. And we want to obviously use PNG. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to click this file that we just edited over here and drag it into the wavetable window of oscillator a and then it's gonna register the picture. So just click on this window and it will show you that the picture has actually registered as your wavetable source. And as far as I can tell, it uses the light spectrum between light and dark colors to actually create your peaks and valleys. So if you noticed in the picture, Brooke is wearing a black shirt and Lauren's wearing a white shirt. And so this is the part at the bottom of the picture where Brooke's shirt is actually registering black, which is why this is all the way down 
in sort of a square shape. And then Lauren's shirt is white, which is why it's all the way up. So it, it made a it made a perfect square shape for me with some added detail in there, right? So that's how I did it. That's how you get a unique wavetable using a picture in Serum. So again, just a quick tip. Nothing too fancy, but it's an awesome genius addition to Serum. So definitely check it out for yourself. Go get Serum. I highly recommend it. It's awesome for sound design. And it's got an awesome sound bank internally. Um, just hundreds of sounds. And uh, so, yeah, get it. Mess around with it. It's it's awesome. Um, but, yeah, that's today's tutorial. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, just click subscribe. And I will be sure to do more in the future. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Brendan signing off. Peace.